Today's Remacra FEI World Cup Dressage Grand Prix here in Lyon is now complete and 17 horses and riders representing 11 nations went to post to try and get the best of the draw in tomorrow's freestyle. As we suspected, it was a real head-to-head -head between defending champion Germany's Helen Lange Hahnenberg and her stallion Damon Hill and Charlotte Dujardin and Vallegro competing in their first FEI World Cup Dressage Finals. Helen and Damon Hill maybe didn't produce 100% of the performance they could have, but it was still good enough for an 83% score, and that put the pressure on the Olympic and European champion coming later on. But Charlotte Dujardin and Vallegro, as they have so many times before, delivered and delivered in spades. It's a new world record. A sublime and polished test gave them an 87.129% and the win in today's Grand Prix. Charlotte Dujardin. A record-breaking Grand Prix for Charlotte Dujardin and Vallegro. 87.129%. Obviously, this is my first World Cup final, and to come here and now get another world record is crazy. I can't believe I've done it, to be honest. I really can't. <laughs> it must be those lucky britches. It is, I tell you. I mean, Helen may have laughed at me, but I haven't taken them off, and I never will take them off. So they've got like another record now. So, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Just tell me a bit about how it felt in there today. Oh, I mean, the arena is a fantastic arena to go in and, and ride around. I mean, it's massive. I think it holds about 9,000 people. So it's a big stadium. And when you go around it, it's like you can hear yourself. And uh, no, it was brilliant to go in there and uh, perform. And obviously, Vallegro, I mean, like, I, you know, I just can't ask any more from him, really. I mean, he just goes in there and breezes around it. So, uh, and it's great now that I can just go for a bit more each time. I can just go a bit more and a bit more because we're just so confident with it um, that, uh, yeah, it, he just lets me ride him I mean it, that's the incredible thing you know he's as good in there as he is out there or at home so uh, very lucky I watched you do your warm-up it was very interesting just tell me how it happens I mean you started doing some bigger circles before going to your pirouette before you went in yeah obviously I have to just do working pirouettes before I make the small pirouettes so everything's just a gradual build up and you know obviously it starts really easy and uh, it's quite funny people's faces when I, they first see me trot because obviously he looks nothing when he when he's trotting around he looks like a little cob and then all of a sudden I pick him up and his legs are around his ears and uh, you know the power that he has is just phenomenal and um, you know when you're sat on it it's like driving a Ferrari so yeah I'm so lucky to be able to ride a horse like that. And now looking forward to tomorrow, the freestyle. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait for tomorrow, actually. Um, obviously, it's going to be my first time riding that floor plan. So I'm hoping everybody's going to love it as much as I do. And, um, you know, I'm just going to enjoy it. And um, what happens, happens. And, um, you know, it's just going to be great. It's going to be a full house. So the atmosphere is going to be massive. So, yeah. So behind those two titans was another former winner, Edward Gall of the Netherlands with the ever-improving Glocks Undercover. It is really set up to be a thrilling conclusion tomorrow to the Remacra FEI World Cup Dressage and we'll have all of the freestyle action from 1.30 local. And don't forget tonight, final two of the Longines FEI World Cup jumping. All this weekend on FEI TV.